2016, 64,000 Americans died of overdoses. That is nearly the population of Daytona Beach. That is why U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions is in Florida. He's talking opioids and what the federal government is doing to fight the epidemic. New 6's Nadine Giannis was there for his speech and has the story from downtown Tampa. U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has been traveling all across the nation talking about how at the federal level they plan to attack this opioid epidemic. An epidemic, he says, here in Florida we know all too well. It is inspiring, actually, to get out of Washington. <laughs> Thrilling some days. Uh, you really want to be out of Washington, I do. And, uh, uh, but we're determined to do our job. It was a trip to Florida U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions wanted to take as opioids here continue to kill. He says in Florida alone, drug-related deaths jumped 22 percent from 2015 to 2016, and fentanyl deaths jumped 97 percent. This year, we want it down. Which is why just yesterday, officially, fentanyl-related substances became scheduled only on an emergency basis, making it easier for the DEA to investigate and crack down on dealers. This while they continue to crack down on overprescribing and better educating doctors. This country prescribes too many opioids. I mean, people need to take some uh, aspirin sometimes. Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi on board today. He believes in treatment for the addicts and, and locking up the dealers as long as possible who are bringing the stuff in our country. We've all got a long way to go and we know that. So coming up tonight at 7, we're going to hear more from Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi on how the state plans on attacking this issue. But at 6 o'clock, we're going to hear from a Kissimmee police captain. He was here among other Central Florida agencies talking with Attorney General Jeff Sessions about this. Hear his reaction to the speech and my story at 6. In Tampa, Nadine Giannis, New 6. And our coverage on opioids continues online. There you can learn how the city of Ocala plans to address the epidemic with a new amnesty program. Just go to clickorlando.com slash opioid nation. We have a special section devoted to the epidemic.